Hello guys, today I'd like to introduce to you this is one of the special circle that we call as unit circle. Why we call as unit circle? Because this circle it comes with a radius one unit. Alright, so the pink color point is actually we call as the moving point. Alright, the moving point is moving on the circumference of the circle and this um, pink color point is actually uh, making the angle between the positive x-axis so the angle is always referred to the positive x-axis so we can see that the angle is starting zero increase to 100 200 Alright, so we have uh, first quadrant, we have fourth quadrant, we have a negative angle, we have positive angle, right? So you see when the angle change is actually uh, the shape of the sine graph is um, changing, right? We can see the, the point that moving on the circumference is actually showing the movement of the cosine and sine graph later on maybe tangent graph so let's say we start at the pink color point is now a 358 degree because uh, I'm measuring uh, from the positive x-axis now it's 2 point 15 degree 48 degree is a positive angle right so the angle is actually defined in such a way that we measure from the positive x-axis starting 0 0 0.24 degree and when we move upward that means we move a uh, anti-clockwise so the angle is a positive angle okay when we move a uh, clockwise is a negative angle so when we move uh, anti-clockwise, the angle is positive, right? Okay, as you can see, the angle keep on changing, and you can relate to the uh, cosine graph change with the angle, right? So when you uh, study the point, if uh, zero, the cosine value is highest, right? When it actually move upward the angle is 90 then the cosine value is heading zero when it actually go into the second quadrant it seems like cosine value is negative right third quadrant also as you can see the cosine value is negative when it come to fourth quadrant the cosine value turn positive so we can say that cosine value is positive at the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant but it is negative at the second quadrant and the third quadrant right so when we study the changes of the values of the trigograph we actually use the unit circle right example here i'm going to sketch the tangent graph so when zero is zero when 90 is undefined so for a uh, second quadrant tangent is negative the quadrant it is positive right and the fourth quadrant it is negative now it seems like heading to first quadrant then from second to third and then fourth quadrant first quadrant second third fourth all right that is the meaning of the tangent graph we refer to the angle so we can move upward we can move uh, clockwise we can move anti-clockwise that is how the unit circle work and how you can see the graph of tangent uh, change according to the angle so uh, for your information you need to memorize the shape of the uh, sine cosine and tangent and also all the special value for the trigo graph all right so if i draw all the three graph simultaneously I will get the shape of this three uh, trigonometric function in such a way. So you can see there is intersection between 
a sine graph and cosine graph at two position which is around 45 degree and 135 degree the uh, sine graph and the cosine graph which is a blue and the red one intersecting right so that is actually the solution of the sine x equal to uh, cosine x which is tangent x equal to 1 right okay so uh, when you uh, when you do the triangle graph you always imagine that you are actually using the unit circle you must know how to relate the unit circle with the uh, sine cosine and tangent graph right so basic concept is we actually uh, sketch uh, the trigonometric graph based on the movement of the point which is in pink color now sometimes we will say this is a, a ray you know r a y uh, okay the ray is moving in such a way you know so when it moves it actually will generate the three type of graph according to the angle okay the angle is always referring to the unit circle all right so um for your information these three graph will be the very basic knowledge for the trigonometric uh fundamental knowledge so you need to master well for the concept of the positive angle negative angle and also all the special value for the sine cos and tangent all right so uh, if you use the GeoGebra, then only you can see uh, the graph for these uh, three type of the uh, function so it's very uh, useful for you to use a GeoGebra and try to understand how does the values of the trigger change according to the angle made by the uh, rotating ray with the positive x-axis to the right positive x-axis all right so that is the definition for the angle and also the trigonometric function yeah, then I shall share with you more on trigonometric in my next video lesson. Bye-bye and have a nice day.